Hey, I'm meteorologist Doug Myers with the latest look at your forecast. Hopefully you got outside to enjoy yesterday. What a beautiful day it was. Really think temperatures will be very similar for today for many spots. There will just be a little bit more cloud cover and an opportunity for rain, especially this afternoon, especially in north central Kansas. Let's take a look at that on Supercast. Most areas will likely remain dry. You can see as we head into the afternoon, starting to get a little bit of spotty showers, maybe some isolated thunderstorms as we head into this afternoon into this evening and continuing uh, for a portion of the time this evening and then redeveloping late tonight into uh, tomorrow morning. But as uh, we get closer to the afternoon hours and certainly into the evening, uh, we will be dry. So this is not gonna impact us uh, for the weekend, but until then, we do have that opportunity for rain. Now, take a look at how much rain we can expect. This is one of our computer models that are indicating the heaviest of the rainfall. A lot of models don't have it quite this much, but you can see there will be spots that, it, there will be several spots that don't even get a tenth of an inch, but there will be spots, and it's gonna be very random, that uh, do get more than a tenth of an inch, and for many, maybe even more than a quarter inch. Just to give you an idea of what some other computer models are indicating, the ones that I haven't shown you, they're a lot drier. They don't indicate quite as heavy of rainfall. So, this is not gonna be a drop buster by any means. This is not gonna be something that's gonna be very meaningful. I do not expect any severe weather, but lightning is certainly possible. And yes, very, very, very localized heavy rainfall could lead to minor flooding, but that chance is very minimal. Once you get past tomorrow's uh, rainfall in the morning, maybe into the early afternoon, but certainly, definitely, no doubt about it, dry by the late afternoon evening for any Friday night plans that you have and dry for the weekend. It's going to look fantastic. Temperatures may still be a couple degrees cooler than what, uh, what I'm forecasting, if you will. In other words, temperatures may be a touch warmer compared to what my eight days in the kid. I think I said that backwards. Very possible we're going to be closer to the mid 70s on Saturday, low 80s on Sunday, and just keeping it cool just because of the cool start to the mornings. 40s, Saturday morning everywhere. I think we may have a few more spots staying in the low 50s Sunday morning, but still several areas down in the upper 40s. And then we're continuing the warming trend as we head into next week with another opportunity for rain. Wednesday into Thursday. A little bit of uncertainty there with the timing. Not too excited about that chance either. But it does look like at least the probability of one of the normal conditions look to continue as we head into the final week of May. And temperature-wise, above normal temperatures. So let's look at the latest forecast. I want to leave this video. I don't normally do this, but I want to just uh, give a shout out to my Lake Superior Splendor trip the first week of September. If you're available for that, about nine days, well, it is nine days, <laughs> nine days uh, worth of fantastic activities up to in the Great Lakes. A lot of uh, mini cruises, if you will, uh, looking at uh, mansions, uh, looking at uh, the, uh, the Great Lakes Aquarium, I'm just looking at uh, my notes here and what we're looking at, uh, the Mackinac Bridge, the Sulax uh, Cruise, a lot of uh, interesting activities uh, to be able to do. Bronner's Christmas Wonderland, uh, leisure time at the Mackinac Island, lots of activities. Uh, if you are available for this, uh, I would love to have you there and uh, enjoy a fantastic first week of September uh, to be able to enjoy some fantastic weather. It should be perfect because they had a record snowfall up there over the winter. So there's no doubt about it, there's gonna be water up there. there. It's gonna be fantastic. They had a great winter, a little bit more than they needed, but there shouldn't be any problems as far as any potential drought up there is concerned with all the uh, snow that they got over the winter. So it's gonna be a fantastic trip up there if you can make it up there. You can find more information on my Facebook page, WIBW Doug Myers. If you have more information or questions, uh, contact, uh, uh, contact me and uh, we can get you taken care of with any questions that you, you may have to answer them. If I don't know it, I will find the answer out for you. In the meantime, enjoy the lovely weather that uh, we're gonna have here in northeast Kansas for the next eight days, but again, watch out for the potential showers and even non-severe thunderstorms that we'll have between this afternoon and midday tomorrow.